As humans, we often seek the approval of so many people, our friends, a family, a boss, and even ourselves. I spent so many years trying to seek the approval, get approval from everyone but God. See, in my eyes, I was just not good enough. And it left me being a very lonely, unhappy person, one who I didn't even know who I was. Young girls today are, there's so much pressure and they're getting the message that they're too fat, too skinny, too ugly. And it's leaving them with a low self-esteem. I get that. I was there. Got me thinking of um, a person that I knew as a, a young teenager. He was a friend of the family and he was blind. So what would a blind person see? Well, they wouldn't see the outer beauty that God made. They would see the inner, under the skin beauty. They'd see um, character traits. So what if a person, a blind person came up to you and gave you three positive words of who they see you are? What would those three words be? Maybe respectful, honest, caring, loving, confident. Those are all great. And God shares with us some character traits that he wants us to pursue. Galatians 5, and 23 says, But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, self-control. These are all great character traits that we should be pursuing versus pursuing perfection or that size zero. If we could just see ourselves through the eyes of a blind person or the way that God sees us, maybe we would seek the approval of others less and of God more. Remember that God made us, created us to be free of who he wanted us to be. He loves you just the way you are. I hope this has encouraged you. See yourself through blinded eyes. Thank you for joining me for my prayer moments with Jan.